guys as usual it's a pleasure to have you today thank you for joining me and on here we are looking at fabric fit and style so let's get to the video so today I'll be investigating Zara and breaking down the good the bad the ugly and the ridiculous number one let's go this is a piece from last year well just last fall and it's a gorgeous red lingerie piece and I love these types I just love them because I think that they are very versatile for evenings as well as to sleep in it's a mixed fabric so it's definitely a no-no for the environment and for that reason I am going to label this as not so good and why am I showing you these pieces this second piece is another piece from last year and Zara keeps repeating these pieces because right now if you go online you're going to find tons of these pieces online as well this was a gorgeous brown and brown had just hit the scene so it was one of Zara's best sellers and it's absolutely stunning I really do love this piece another versatile piece as well the composition is a hundred percent viscose and for me this is a winner because it's biodegradable so just love it number three is a gorgeous green I mean this item made me give a double take because it's a perfect combo for me this is when you combine green emerald with gold to get khaki green this was genius because it gives it this nice gorgeous sheen that I absolutely fell in love with and added to this is the fact that this is a shirt dress it's a gorgeous flowy beautifully made just absolutely stunning short dress and I fell in love and I fell hard the fabric composition was one of the biggest disappointments of my life it's a hundred percent polyester why Zara why so because of this I'll be rating this item bad because polyester is plastic and it's bad for the environment number four is another gorgeous number this is a dress and in this it's in this dark chocolatey brown that just oozes chocolate <laughs> chocolate guys chocolate and it is absolutely not a disappointment the fabric is in beautifully woven a hundred percent viscose viscose is a gorgeous environmental fiber so it's good so number five yes I know there's a common theme here lingerie dresses I do love these types of dresses so I chose this piece because it's in the gorgeous yellow shade that is currently trending right now and so it's beautiful again this is a very gorgeous piece in fiscals and so for that reason I love it and it's good for the environment this piece for some reason is polyester probably they made an error but the other pieces that you see online and these last two pieces are currently online right now they are good because they are 100% viscous. Number six is this beautiful dress that I had stocked online because I found it so beautifully made and it's right up my alley. The only thing <laughs> that made me not buy it is the price and for good reason. 
it's a hundred and eighty nine dollars guys Canadian dollars I couldn't as you know I love to wait on Zara sales but this is a really good piece in terms of fabric well let's just say good and bad because viscose is rayon and it is good in the sense that it's biodegradable but bad in the sense that it uses lots of chemicals to break down the fabrics it's polluting bad for humans bad for animal life so it's not good number seven is my favorite of favorites because it's floral and I love floral and of course guys this is the season for floral and Zara has lots of florals on its website right now and they're not a disappointment when it comes to appealing to the eyes but the fabrication is key and as I've mentioned viscose while it's a wood pulp derivative fiber it also has its issues and too many companies are using viscose when you combine it with polyester as in this case it is not good so this is not a good piece for that reason I'm gonna give this a bad numero quattro number eight guys is me written all over it this is my favorite types of blouse the pussy bro and it's in such an exciting fabric guys Zara has been listening I ask for this I manifested this guys Zara created a silk blouse so this is a no-brainer it's a million percent good and I love it number nine Nuf. Nueve. Oh my god guys it's one of my favorite item to wear oh my god guys it's a cape oh my god not just any cape guys it's cashmere is Zara listening or what this is one of my H&M capes that I wear over and over and over again guys this piece no lie and you can see here for yourself it's limited edition cashmere cape it's 469 Canadian dollars I can't blame Zara but it is I must admit ridiculously priced that is why I named this item the ridiculous one only the one percent of youtubers can afford this and we are at DA's lucky number 10 it's one of my favorite dress styles it has frills it has thrills it has those elegant oh those sleeves guys those sleeves the fabric composition of this one is a huge disappointment guys it's a hundred percent polyester oh my god Zara why so for me this is bad because you know the drill about polyester number 11 oh 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 my god I love this at floral I I just love the way it draped this is a piece that is so familiar because I have a similar piece in my wardrobe and here I am wearing it here I got it in 2017 from Zara it's almost the same floral pattern but it's a different style because this is a jumpsuit and Zara repeats these over and over and over and over again unfortunately Zara doesn't learn because it's still in polyester and there's no way I'm gonna invest in these pieces again because they are bad for the environment 
Oh, and this one, guys. Oh, my God. I don't know why this was ever created. It's a paisley jumpsuit. And while it has some potential, and I'm a huge jumpsuit fan, guys, this just makes me sad. Not only is the fabric 100% polyester, it's ugly. And that is why I name this as the ugly one because it's ugly environmentally and otherwise thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye